swing, you probably read that the wrist move very much like a hammer striking a nail, which is a vertical motion only. So if we use this type of wrist cock, we see that it has no effect on the club face orientation to the target. It stays very square. So that type of wrist cock, if we had no rotation of the forearms, we would bang ourselves in the head almost. So that's why the forearms rotate that way, and that's how you get that L configuration at the top of your swing. Now, if you're a, a Freddie Couples type, the second type of wrist cock would be what I call left wrist down. So I'm pushing my left wrist down. You'll see that that actually opens the club face. So if you have that type of wrist cock in your swing, it would create a cupped type wrist at the top. And in the downswing, would tend to keep the face slightly open depending on how much you cupped your wrist. Then the last one, which I tend to use with some people who have problems squaring the face is what I call right wrist cock down cock. So that means my right wrist is pushing down. So when I do that, you'll see that from the down the line angle, the face actually gets a little square or slightly shut. It's not extremely shut. So with a uh, standard wrist cock, you get the toe up. With the left wrist cock, you get that configuration. With the right wrist cock down, you get that position. So the reason I use that last one, right wrist down with slicers, is like I said, it helps kind of shut the face a little. But another good thing it does is when you come into impact, you'll see it gets that shaft lean forward. So that's a good one to use if you have a problem slicing.